Sassol Technology, the innovative groundbreaking arm of the Sassol Group, has once again set a world first. The certification of Sassol's 100% synthetically produced jet fuel for the aviation industry. This development, which has the endorsement from international aviation authorities, places South African innovation on the world's strategic fuels agenda. As an historic perspective to these developments, in the 1950s, Sassol was first in the world to make fuel from coal a commercially viable proposition. The appropriate term, synthetic fuel, was born out of the nature in which a stream of hydrogen and carbon monoxide was synthesized from the gasification of coal using Sassol's proprietary technology. But much more importantly for Sassol was that its unique proprietary conversion process released a massive value chain of chemicals, fuels and co-products that became the heart and soul of Sassol's business and the foundation of its intellectual property. In Sassol's high temperature synthetic fuel process, a range of synthetic hydrocarbons, including aromatics, are produced and then hydrogenated to jet fuels while in the low temperature synthetic fuel process N paraffinic waxes are hydro cracked and hydro isomerized to jet fuel. In recent years Sassol's proprietary synthetic fuel process via gas reforming and low temperature reactors has been applied to convert natural gas to liquid fuels. This places Sassol's slurry phase distillate process and its product upgrading units in a favorable position to offer the world an alternative method to monetize national natural reserves like coal and natural gas. This beneficiation option is an increasingly attractive strategy to improve a country's energy security. Sassol co-owns an inland crude oil refinery, Natref, in South Africa. This complex petroleum refinery has traditionally been the main source of aviation fuel for the OR Tambo International Airport. Since 1999, Sassol has been delivering a blend of semi-synthetic jet fuel to the market. Sassol semi-synthetic jet fuel is a blend of synthetic paraffinic kerosene and petroleum-derived kerosene. In 1998, Sassol semi-synthetic jet A1 was approved as commercial aviation kerosene turbine fuel under DEFSTAN 91-91 issue 3. This achievement, another first for Sassol, followed a lengthy approval process in which Sassol played the central facilitation role. Semi-synthetic Jet A1 is supplied to the market using the logistics already in place. No changes were required to be carried out prior to fuel injection. The fuel is a true drop-in fuel and has been used successfully by local and international airlines and military aircraft. The approval of synthetic kerosene as blending component proved to be vitally important as demand began to exceed existing capacities from petroleum. The availability of synthetic kerosene enabled Sassol to continue to supply jet fuel even when the Natref refinery's ability to produce kerosene was severely reduced because of a plant shutdown for extensive repairs. Security of supply to OR Tambo International Airport has always been high on the strategic agenda for both Sassol and the South African government. Sassol had the vision to develop gas to liquids and coal to liquids facilities that could produce synthetic jet fuel as part of the product slate. A first step towards realizing this vision was taken when 100% Sassol Sinfuels CTL Jet A1 was approved on the 8th of April 2008. The key towards realizing this ambition was to involve all the important stakeholders in the international aviation industry. This approval has now paved the way to consider jet fuel as part of the product slate for Sassol gas to liquid and coal to liquid plants under investigation in a number of countries around the world. Among the list of prominent industry role players, the following were consulted. The UK Ministry of Defense, the American Society for Testing Materials, 
and the International Air Transport Association. Engine manufacturers include Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney, General Electric and Honeywell, as well as aircraft manufacturers such as Boeing and Airbus. Airlines, including SAA, British Airways and Lufthansa have been consulted as well as international oil companies such as Shell, BP, Chevron, Exxon Mobil. Aviation jet fuel quality at jointly operated fuel depots is governed by the Joint Checklist, the most stringent specifications of DEFSTAN 91-91 and ASTM D1655. The specifications for jet fuel in the United Kingdom and USA and is updated as changes occur by the Joint Inspection Group. The approval process for Sasol 100% synthetic jet fuel started in the year 2000 when Sasol's board approved a substantial budget to enable every facet of research and testing that would be required to obtain approval. Southwest Research Institute in San Antonio, Texas was commissioned to be the third-party testing house. The approval process that was created for the approval of Sasol semi-synthetic jet fuel was followed for this approval as well. In the following few years, critical parameters were defined and an approval protocol was established that involved challenges such as supplying huge quantities of fuel in simulated production blends, standard as well as additional laboratory tests, engine component tests, including the US Navy T-700 turbine engine. In 2006, on the application for approval of Sasol 100% synthetic jet fuel, the original equipment manufacturers requested further tests that included endurance tests using a Pratt & Whitney JT-9D engine. The work was done by the SAA technical department. Emissions testing by Pratt & Whitney cold start and altitude re-light testing by Rolls-Royce, cold start and lean blowout testing by Honeywell. Throughout all the tests, critical areas were checked related to the fuel's elastomer compatibility properties. Its physical properties like lubricity, viscosity, freezing point, density and thermal stability. All these parameters and many more were evaluated and in many cases the synthetic fuel was shown to outperform the petroleum reference fuel. Results have been reviewed by original equipment manufacturers and no issues have been identified that would compromise the performance, durability or safety of engines and aircraft or affect the handling and storage of this fuel. It has been demonstrated that the Sasol 100% synthetic jet fuel is a drop-in fuel that is fully compatible with petroleum jet fuel, the fuel handling system and the hardware. OEMs are satisfied that there is no risk in using Sasol's fully synthetic jet fuel. Sasol has achieved a truly remarkable breakthrough that is to bring to the worldwide aviation industry a fully qualified and endorsed synthetic jet fuel that is superior in many respects. Such a breakthrough emphatically endorses Sasol's innovative technologies. Moreover, it enables the realization of its longer-term ambitions of gas-to-liquids and coal-to-liquids plants around the world, not only producing fit-for-purpose automotive fuels and chemicals, but also producing strategically critical energy and fuel solutions, such as this world-first fully synthetic jet fuel. It is for these reasons that Sasol's chief executive, Pat Davies, said about the hard work of the men and women who committed themselves to this task. To achieve this breakthrough, the team has worked tirelessly since the 1990s to develop safe and effective synthetic jet fuels.